Well, hello, pre-lovers. Welcome back. It's Clancy with 1013 Vintage, where we talk quality thrifting and all things fancy. And I had to get some braids. <laughs> I had to get some braids back in my hair because the heat was not getting along with me at all. <laughs> so to do a shortcut, I actually got crochet braids in my hair and if you guys are familiar with crocheting um, hair into my natural hair it's a faster process it probably took about two hours opposed to six hours in the chair and it's working for right now so I'll keep this in for a couple of weeks and then probably actually go into my individual style braids but nonetheless guys I have been in the thrift stores and I'm just reaching towards the end of gathering stuff for, for summer. I am prepping to go on another trip and I had to get in the thrift stores to either look for bathing suits, shorts, any kind of linen because right now they're starting to push in leather and suede pieces and boots so I'm trying to get the last stand of the summer pieces. So if you want to see what I got in this haul, stick around. Guys, you know at every beginning of each haul, I try to show you guys a luxury candle that I picked up. And again, I'm finding another Nest candle. This one is by... Um, this one is called the Midnight Moss, and I just can't wait to just burn these candles. I, one thing I love about thrifting, particularly luxury thrifting, is finding luxury candles, especially when they are concentrated, the scent lasts longer, and they're really good for gifts. So I love finding candles. The other candle that I found was this candle by Finn and Company. So I actually looked this up and this is another luxury candle. I mean, it doesn't say the notes on the bottom of this candle, but it's giving citrus, lavender, very strong, like a lemony scent. And this is probably something I could burn in my kitchen. I cannot wait to burn this. And actually, it has the label black sand. So maybe that's kind of the scent that's, that it's giving. Finn and Company, love this. And this is another Nest can candle that I found. Normally the Nest candles that I find have that striped um, um, imprint on the candle. This one looks like it, it was pushed out around the holiday because it smells very much like peppermint. But this is a Nest candle too. And guys, what I love is that it's not burnt. I love this. So let me tell you, I was actually looking in the jewelry department. Uh, more items today. We'll see you tomorrow here at Red, White, Blue Christmas. Have a great day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By Eddie Borgo. If you guys are familiar with Eddie Borgo's um, neckwear jewelry, it's stunning. I mean, I couldn't believe I came across this. The only thing that it doesn't fit my neckline, but Definitely, um, this probably would fit a small. Um, I'm actually gonna put this in the store, but look at this, isn't this? Um, and if I can find a photo, I will um, put it right in the corner. But Eddie Borgo, really love this. All right, keeping in the theme of me trying to get last minute pieces before I go, um, on travel again and I am showing you these these items I haven't removed any of the the tags as of yet because I need my staple remover 
and you want to just make sure when you're removing tags that you carefully do so because these are fine linens and one pull will probably um, tear um, or put a hole in the blouse so this is a fine linen striped shirt i mean i love tops like this this is actually from h and m and what i do like about it is that it has the tie already styled in the shirt remember i don't know if you guys have been watching any of my videos but normally in my summer linen pieces i like i love tying the front of a blouse to just give it more of a softer feminine look and this actually is already part of the the style of the shirt so i love this i'm actually hoping that this will match up with these linen shorts i'm not really a shorts girl because i normally love wearing a lot of flowy dresses you guys saw this one i picked this up from one of my favorite stores um red white and blue the thrift store that i'm always talking about but when i showed you guys a little clip at a, um, a retail 101 they actually had it hanging in the store current so this is very fun this is a maxi dress and it's just fun to just you know slip on run some errands um i wore this to work the other day and it's just it's simple and i love the pattern but to keep it light, I found these linen, 100% linen. This is by the brand Ellen Tracy. And the one thing I love about finding linen shorts, again, it's lightweight. You can fold this up, put it in your luggage, and it won't feel like you're, you're packing away at like a pair of heavy jeans. So um, I found these shorts. And I also found another short set. Look at this. So this did not have any label, but I felt like this probably is something like fast fashion, whether it's Fashion Nova or I'm not sure, but it didn't have any kind of label, not even uh, um, the only label it had was this right here maybe i should screen maybe i should take a picture of the barcode and maybe it'll come up wait let me see let me see it comes up to be nothing there's no images. It looks like there aren't any images matching, matching to this topic. Well, there goes your answer. I don't know where this comes from, but it's super cute. It's the little shorts, pair of shorts, and I love the top. It's just perfect for like tennis or a pickleball session or just going walking along the beach. I think I'm going to actually take this with me. So don't worry. If you guys follow me on my personal um, Instagram page, you'll be able to see some photos um, of some of the items that I'm taking. So um, I'm going to wear some of these items now. I'm showing you these things for a reason. <laughs> so I also picked up this linen, 100% linen. This is by the brand La Bottega. Um... Brunello, La Bottega Brunello. And this is a 100% linen. It feels like tunic. I actually tried this on when I was at the store over my clothes. And it has like a, it's kind of designed like it's already like shaped, like there's structure. I don't know if you could see it, but. I think I'm gonna really like this and I mean I don't know how many linen pieces I'm going to bring but this will definitely be one of them it has pockets oh it has pockets yes I'm gonna try this on again without um, this would be perfect for like a cover-up or even wearing 
this at dinner. I think I'm gonna like this. I like this. I found this beautiful, colorful dress. This is by the brand Sunday Up. I've never heard of this brand but look at it look how gorgeous these colors are i mean i don't know i feel like when i know that i'm going somewhere and i go to the thrift store i feel like i'm it's right on time and i'm finding the right pieces to take hopefully this fits because i did not try this on i just grabbed it but look at the colors oh this Perfect. This is a perfect summer piece. So, love this. I also found this silk top by Milano, Italy. And guys, this actually was priced at $50. And it was 75% off. Yeah, I was looking for all red tags when I went shopping. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful. And it has like the M's all throughout the shirt. Love the colors of like the bright like reds and the oranges. I actually ended up finding some beach wear. Okay, so let, let me show you this. Look how beautiful this bathing suit is. I found this ba bathing suit and this is by Ralph Lauren. I love how there's a peephole right here. And guys, it has bones right here, so it's gonna cinch me in. And I think this will be perfect just to wear with those linen shorts that I showed you, with this, this is perfect. This is a perfect outfit to wear. I can just take this off if I wanted to go by the pool. And I mean, I stopped looking at bathing suits at the big box stores long ago. This particular thrift store I go to, and if you guys are familiar with the red, white, and blue stores, I mean, they carry clothing all year round with of all four seasons so you can always find a really beautiful bathing suit um, some are brand new some are pre-loved i mean even the pre-loved ones are not really worn because give or take you're only wearing your bathing suit a couple of times um, on a trip so this is a beautiful i cannot wait to wear this one love this guys if you know anything about traveling and packing, you definitely want to have packing cubes. I came across these cow pack packing cubes and I have so many of these, but this one is just, it just popped out lemon color for me. I just love, this would just make packing fun. I never even opened it up, but I'm assuming, oh, I, you couldn't open it up because they attached both of the, um, the zippers together. Let me see if I can open this. Okay, there we go. So they, let me see how many packing cubes come in, comes inside of this. So it's cow pack and you have the big one, which I normally need two of these. So I'll use this one and I'll use one of my other ones to make up two large cases. And then it has a medium and a small. So this is just a three tier um, packing cube, which I love this. I'm definitely gonna use these to pack my pieces. And lastly, let me show you my last find. These are not only white studded flip-flop sandals. These are Christian Louboutin sandals. Love these. Look at this. And it has the Louboutin engraved inside the shoe. And 
these are not even worn. But you know what? People are not even looking at these because right now people are starting to shop for boots and closed toe sandals because they're prepping for pre-fall items. Guys, this was my win-win along with my other pieces I'm hoping to show you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. Please click like, share. You guys have to tell a friend to subscribe. I would love for you guys to join my community where we talk quality thrifting and all things that are fancy. Visit 1013vintage.com, which is my personal online website where I am up loading some of these pieces that I find for you guys to purchase. Um, and then I will also take you along my small business journey. So if you guys are interested in one of these videos or more videos, click in the corner. And until then, I'll see you guys soon.